CRISPR gene editing gets its first human trial, November 15th. A California man suffering from a rare disease has become the first person ever to undergo an attempt to edit genes inside the body. However, it's not clear what side effects could result from the groundbreaking procedure. The experiment was carried out on Brian Matto, a 44-year-old with Hunter syndrome, a metabolic disease that affects fewer than 10,000 people around the world. Matto receives expensive weekly treatments to replace missing enzymes essential for breaking down certain carbohydrates. While the experiment will not eradicate the disease, it's hoped that a successful test will mean he will no longer have to undergo these regular treatments, which can cost between $100,000 to $400,000 a year. In the experiment, scientists intravenously inserted billions of copies of corrective gene into DNA cut with molecular scissors, known as zinc fingers. Once inside the body, the new gene and zinc fingers travel into the liver where the DNA is snipped and the fix is stitched into place. Scientists hope the remade cells will then begin producing the enzyme Matto currently lacks. Dr. Sandy McRae of Sangamo Therapeutics the California company testing for this two metabolic disease and hemophilia described the technique as invisible mending. It becomes part of your DNA and there for the rest of your life, Dr. McRae told AP. Although groundbreaking, the experiment carries inherent risks insofar as side effects cannot be predicted and there is no erasing mistakes the editing might cause. Maddow said he was humbled to be the first person to take part in the groundbreaking study. I'm willing to take that risk, he said. Hopefully, it will help me and other people. What they start out as a healing technology has the ability to create all-out chaos. Gene-edited mutant ants create chaotic colony. Scientists using radical new technology to create the first ever mutant ants have been left stunned by the effect their experiments have had on the insect's social life. Researchers employed CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology, this is the same thing that was used on Matto, in an attempt to overcome the complex social roles of two different kinds of ants. The plan was designed to create more mother ants capable of giving birth to a future generation of mutants. In both species, Indian jumping ants and colonial raider ants, the removal of genes that are crucial to the development of ants' odor receptors resulted in a near-complete breakdown of the society. The test saw ants wandering away from the colony and refusing to forage for the group. Could this lead to a future that we've been so heavily warned against? The following quotes are from Yuval Noah Harari, an author of Homo Deuce, A Brief History of Tomorrow, a New York Times bestseller. He says another danger is on the social level. Due to these new technologies, we may end up with the most unequal society in human history because for the first time in history, it will be possible to translate economic inequality into biological inequality. In the 21st century, this may change. Using the new technologies, it will be possible to basically split humankind into biological castes. Once you open such a gap, it becomes almost impossible to close it. Another related danger is that even without bioengineering and things like that, we will see an extremely unequal society as elites and states lose their interest and lose their incentive to invest in the health, education, and welfare of the masses. The 19th and 20th centuries were the ages of the masses. The masses were the central force in politics and in society. Now, these are direct quotes. I'll leave a link below so you can go to the website and go to his speech if you want to. So we may be facing in the 21st century a completely new kind of inequality which we have never seen before in human history. On the one hand, the emergence of a new upgraded elite of superhumans enhanced by bioengineering and brain-computer interfaces and things like that. And on the other hand, a new massive useless class, a class that has 
no military or economic usefulness, and therefore also no political power. Toward the end of his speech, he says, And now we are on the verge of a new revolution. Authority is shifting back to the clouds, to the Microsoft cloud, to the Google cloud, to the Amazon cloud. Data and data processing is the new source of authority. Don't listen to the Bible and don't listen to your feelings. Listen to Amazon. Listen to Google. They know how you feel. They know you better than you know yourself. And they make better decisions on your behalf than you can. So as you can see by these quotes, what they introduce to all of us as a positive healing technology, the CRISPR technology, can quickly be twisted and used for their sinister purposes. This, again, is from Homo Deuce, A Brief History of Tomorrow. The author's name is Yuval Noah Harari. This was within his talk at the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and carry on.